Good day. This is Briar K, a PhD, and my PhD stands for Post Hole Dicker. You know what that means by now. I earned my degree in a desert university, the University of Life, my friend. Yes, it is true that we are wondering are you suffering of VIP syndrome? True lives and leadership. You might remember somebody walks out of a hospital claiming that he is not sick, which is great, it's possible. But if you're also a man that has stake in your medication, and when I say stake, I mean not the stake that you find on your plate, but a stake in the company, shares, and you are profiting from it in the hope that you're going to profit when you are act tough. Friends, true lies and leadership. Are you suffering of a VIP syndrome? Many of us are wondering what in the world is going on. Truth is not for the lazy people. Truth is for reality, for those that are hungering for honesty and integrity. Or have we all lost that? It will be a complicated story today. One of double dealing and deceit and a great evil, folks. That is what I wrote in my book, PMS, Deception Protocol. It will test the patience of many and the intellect of most as the world has become a sewer, a chess place. It has become cleverness has moved level upon level to areas unforeseen by all but a few who may never communicate with media and public. You got to have the fundamentals right, folks. Let me repeat it. We got to have a proper foundation before we start building anything. A nation of apathic and complacent spectators watching their world explode between commercial breaks. I'm talking about the body of Christ. Cowards die every day. Well, the courageous die but once, but they will always be remembered. I've got here a hat that is actually a little bit hard to understand here. Uh, this is how I need to do it. So you can get a feel of what is happening. Why am I using this face? It looks like the scriptures exploit amnesia. Most of us that are reading, or if we are even reading, maybe we're listening by video only or YouTube or TikTok or whatever names they're using. They're listening to a scripture that are based on a process of amnesia. They're drawing from a pre-existing source of knowledge from within. In other words, you have a already a, your mind made up. You know what you think because you have already a pre-existing condition. The fact that Jesuit taught that the kingdom is within us also means that the answer to the dilemma of life can only be found within our own mind and being. Jesua condemned the scribes and the Pharisees for throwing away the key of knowledge. Wow. I'm talking today about the United States is 230 years old and is now firmly entrenched in the seven states of all civilization. Apathy with only dependence and eventually bonded ahead of it. It seems that we are all going, each state, each country, each so strong of a society goes through several stages before it basically implodes. It falls within. Apathy is a glove into which evil slips its eager hands. The efforts aids of the world's greatest civilization has been 230 years actually 200 years about, I made the 30 years. These nations have progressed through a nine state sequence. 
from bondage to spiritual faith. Yes, folks, Rome was an example. They went through a tremendous powerhouse around the time of Jesua, Hamashiach, to many known as Jesus Christ. The average age of the world's greatest civilization has been 200 years, but that's taken efforts. Some of them lasted longer. There were about a thousand years. But the United States, they started at 16, 17. So we are looking at about 250 years max, if we're very optimistic. Well, they started. And then from bondage, they moved on to spiritual faith. And from spiritual faith to great courage. And from courage to liberty. And from liberty to abundance and from abundance to selfishness. We've seen it after World War II. They were so full of abundance. They had everything, they got everything. And then somewhere in the 80s, during my time, 70s and the 80s, we became so selfish. From selfishness to complacency, from the 80s to 2000. And now everyone has this little giggle thing, um, phone or whatever you want to call it. And from complacency, it is apathy. From apathy to dependence and from dependency back again into bondage. Folks, we are a few steps away from being back in bondage. Is that what you're looking for? Well, congratulations. Don't do anything special because you will eventually get there. And that eventually might be sooner than you think. I've used it before. Fear. False education appearing real. Fear can also stand for apathy. Fear. A false adjector. But apathy lacks interest and indifference. And it has always been the great American sin, if not of all over the world. It's a sin we're all guilty of. My question is, is the body of Christ under attack and are they suffering of VIP syndrome? Today or this weekend, yesterday, we just saw it again, suffering of VIP syndrome. Some people call it also, they're just about crazy. We've seen it before in society. A man gets power by deceit and deception. And once he has the power, it gets to his head. And then once it is in his head, he's just about to croak. Folks, the body of Christ is under attack. They're mutually wounded. The body of Christ is under attack and mortally wounded. Yes, anybody's version warrants telling and being divulged. But more than ever, there is a meaning to prevent this from happening. The savage is a notorious personality, a fallen angel, a traitor with the prompt arrival of an Asian alley. The tide shifted and the designation the body of Christ feasts upon its returning enemy. There is no alternative for a good man, for you must be set free. The antagonist stopped and the body of Christ reclaimed. But what are we talking about, folks? What is it? How come we have to fight for something that should have been conquered 2,000 years ago? The imposter syndrome. How do I reconcile my traditional upbringing with the intersections of other beliefs like the Muslims, Christianity, Buddhism, I say I have 55 verse 6 in the complete Jewish Bible. Seek Adonai while he is available. Call on him while he is still nearby. The natural loss, spiritual maturity. In the alpha of creation, laws are put into effect that would evolve each soul to the omega of enlightened light and knowledge. Maybe those are difficult words. Alpha means the beginning, at the beginning of creation. Laws were put into effect that would evolve each soul 
to the Omega, to the end of the enlightening and knowing. Whom will he teach knowledge? And whom will he make to understand the message? Those just weaned from milk, those just drawn from the breast, for precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, there a little. This is Isaiah 28, verse 9 to 10. Can no one be taught anything? Can no one understand the message? Must one teach barely weaned toddlers, babies just taken from the breast? Then one must use nursery rhymes. As an infant grows into a child and an adult one step at a time, so too does the process of mental expansion and spiritual deepening that leads souls to the omega of the enlightened light and knowing to take place line upon line, precept upon precept. They achieve spiritual maturity and manifest it. Therefore, the laws that control and evolve the consciousness of humanity is right as outlined in the parable of the sower and the seed, that you can possess no greater level of truth than your desires of living in word, thought, desire, and deed. In other words, know ye not this parable and how then will you know all parables? Folks, you choose a leader like Trump. Who are the people that enable a man that is crazy, that's going berserk, that cannot control himself? And I'm talking as a person that is 70 years of age. I'm not that far away from Trump's age. He's 74. He was born in July. I was born in June. I do reckon that we reach an age of maturity, supposedly. But if we keep on acting like a jerk, spiritually, as well as literally, what does that mean? You guys enable somebody like this. And if this is the body of Christ, then I wonder, are we really out of that state of being a baby? Because right now, why do you call Lord, Lord, but not do what he says? We are supposed to develop. And when we are asked, where is the Lord? Where is heaven? We are waiting for him. He says, it is not calling on Jesus. It is following Yeshua. Yeshua is the name of Jesus, as most of the people know. Yeshua HaMashiach. But even if you call him the name of Jesus, that is wonderful. Why don't you do what he says? We are supposed to be people that are following the route to the Father. And where is the Father? The kingdom is within us, folks. It's not just calling on Jesus and then say, praise the Lord, I'm saved. It is a road, a way that I start following. And in the process, as I develop as a little baby and I become a toddler, I learn to wiggle and to wackle and to walk. And then I learn to run and to jump and then I become a champion. That is how we spiritually have to follow the path within us, within us. Am I clear? I need to follow the path, folks. I just don't call out to Jesus and be in whatever I call myself. When I truly want to follow Jesua and I want to connect with the Father, I need to repent and look inward. Am I on a VIP syndrome? I think I've got it all. I control it all. Folks, fear, false education, appearing real, the false appearance. What is that appearance? You look so great, but you're scared. And the word shitless is actually what you should be said. Because people don't know where they're going to. With leaders 
that don't know what they're doing other than acting like an idiot and a moron and being a narcissist and others enabling it. Yes, folks, I call what it is. Repent. Repent, Mr. Trump. I have to repent. You have to repent. We all have to repent because our senses are so screwed up. We had everything and we screwed it up. Why not go back to the beginning and say, Father, I failed. Forgive me. And if you are too big for that, my friend, I'm sorry. You will find out very soon that God is an awesome God. And he does forgive. But we have to follow the path of Yeshua HaMashiach. He is the path, the way, the way, the truth, and the light. And so if that light is shining on us and give us wisdom, we don't have to act like a fool. But again, it's not up to me. I have my own business to take care of. We all have to take care of ourselves. Me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. And I hope that this VIP syndrome will be dealt with individually, each one by itself. We all have to deal with our own syndromes. VIP means nothing, folks. When you act like a moron, behave like a moron, and want to be a moron, then I'm sorry. The path says follow, and we need to follow the Lord. Take a look on the inside redirect our beliefs. And if this is the body of Christ I'm talking to, leadership, folks, remember, you cannot act like a moron because you're the leader of 100,000 people, 20,000 people, or 500, or maybe 50 people. Leaders are leaders because they follow the path, not they follow the whatever you learned on Bible school or whatever university you went to, we are following because we are following the spirit of God and listening to that spirit. We don't need to suffer from any syndromes other than humility to humble ourselves and say, forgive me, Lord, show me the way, show me the way, the way that I need to go to honor and glorify the Lord. And folks, I have an organization of one. I don't need to be an organization or a leader of 100,000, 200,000 people or whatever the amount is that I set my mind up because I am here to serve the Lord. One Lord, my God, my Father, Abba, Father. And I encourage you, take a look. Where are you? Are you just on the road to nowhere? Or are you on the path, the way, the truth, and the light? This is Brad Caleb, PhD. And as you know by now, my PhD stands for Post Hole Digger. And I'm here to continue to work on the foundation for the prodigal son and daughter because deception has taken over. And before the whole world gets deceived, this message will show that there is a way, there is a truth, and there is a light because God the Father made that available to all of us. God bless you.